you know, me and this old boy yesterday at the cigar shop, um, <laughs> boy, I think I kind of made, uh, I kind of think I kind of made the little fella mad. Well, he ain't a little, well, yeah, he's a little fella. He's way younger than me, but got a new fella up there at the cigar spot. You got to kind of, just waking up here in the morning. Still ain't in my bed, but uh, <laughs> but I got my pajamas on. I'm not like that fella I saw on YouTube, like what I think last year or something. <laughs> Had some pictures circling around about him. This YouTubing guy always be talking bad. Him and that little short Charleston white fella used to be into it. They used to be very entertaining. I think they wax up and they used to go back and forth. That fella, whack, they were circulating a picture of him on YouTube. He was butt bone naked, laying on his belly on the phone. And he was willing to feet like a little girl, like a little girl. I was like, what's going on? He was, he guy was laying, laying in the bed on his belly with a, with a cell phone in his hand. Just willing, I think he was doing his podcast like that. And it was circling around the internet. I was like, what this stuff is? What got his butt tooted in the air? <laughs> With a little feet on the phone, on the belly. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I say, man, what's going on today? Is a day in, in 2023, 20, man, this is kind of weird what's going on. These young fellas today, they didn't went straight sideways, man. But uh, but I got my clothes on. It's early in the morning. I'm just sitting got my clothes on the bed. I got my pajamas. See, old people like, we wear, we wear pajamas. I guess especially getting cold. You know, we getting cold. That uh, cold weather out there, kind of bad. For our rheumatism, so you got. I got my clothes on, got my pajama shirt on, my pajama, my pajamas on. I got my house shoes right there by the bed with a little fur in the inside, a little fake fur. I, I'm sorry, I ain't got real fur like Deion Sanders, and plus I can't get nobody to donate me. You know, no, <laughs> you know, no, no, uh, no, no, no house shoes with some fur in there. You know, with with some uh, Gucci fur in there or some Louis fur in there. So I got them. I got my. I got my old house shoes, you know, they leather like them old people house shoes, leather on the outside. I had about, I had about, about 15, I had been shop about 20 years, you know, I just wear them in the inside the house and I can't get nobody to donate. I can't get on my channel and say, hey, I need some more house shoes, walk around on these hardwood floors around here. Can somebody donate, you know, like Coach Prime did, he got that zero turn. He said, hey, I need a zero turn lawnmower for this house that, I'm, that these people rent for me here in Boldy. I'll send me a lawnmower out there. People can make Said them lawnmower they were on this zero turn lawnmower. He say like to listen to Kurt Franklin and TD Jakes when he's riding out there cutting his grass. I'd buy a leg, leaving Kurt Franklin. Hey Kurt, still going to meetings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got it. Yeah, so yeah, I ain't, I ain't messing with Coach Prime. Not, I ain't messing with Coach Prime right now. I hope Coach Prime well, you know. But yeah. Like just, well, I just want to clarify, y'all know, because I know people say, well, man, this guy wake up in the morning, he get on the dog, going to fall. You want to just, just clarify that I got my clothes on. I'm not laying on my belly on the phone with my booty tooted up, you know, too much, you know, you know, f- <laughs> flopping my feet up and down, you know, like a baby seal, you know. I'm just saying, okay. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, I man, I mean, you know, young fella, yeah, I kick sound because he's a lot younger than me, you know, we was up at the cigar spot. And I don't know how we got on the subject. We got on the subject of uh, of minors of of, of of minors. Somebody said, and you know, I'm I'm just like this. Just said, <laughs> cigar spot. You know, at a home cigar spot. Now we go out of town to a cigar spot. The group do. You know, I don't. You know, I don't be messing with nobody. I keep my mouth shut because, like I say, you know. You know, this is, you know, I don't want nobody to bust my mouth, you know, offend somebody, you know, because we live in Florida and, you know, everybody walk around pretty even. <laughs> so you had to be like Bad Masterson right here. You, you had to be the one to draw, to draw first. <laughs> so, but at our home cigar spot here, oh, I talk a lot of trash, boy, play line, but I talk a lot of trash. And they get it right back to me. But me and the young fella, and he kind of knew, knew the group, so we kind of still filling them out, right? So, uh, you know, and the bank thing of it is if, <laughs> if you can take my horse reddish and you, if you can give it back to me, then you all right. But if you can, but, but if, you know, if you can, you know, if I'm giving it to you and you can't take it, 
then, you know, you ain't for the group, you know, because like I say, they come at me pretty hard too. Matter of fact, the old boys come at me harder than I come at them. But still, we, you know, we be shuggling and jiving back and forth. That's it. You got to take the shuggling and jive. You can't take the shuggling and jive. Man, look, man, you know, this is a cigar spot, man. Everybody come in and smoke a cigar and relax. Some people like to keep their mouth shut. You know, some people like to, you know, semi-talk. Somebody like to just talk trash. I talk a lot of trash, but I ain't the best talk trash in that, though, uh uh, we got we, we we got some boys in there that that put me to rest. And matter of fact, I'm I'm probably I'm I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest, you know. I'm the youngest. Me and uh, me me and the prayers and, and Tim Dog. I went four with them. We, we the youngest. There's them boys. They way older than us, you know. But yeah, but uh, no. But the young fella that got another little young fella there. Uh, a uh, look a little color boy, a little black boy. You know, he been hanging around the spot, and so he uh. You know, we was all sitting around yesterday, and uh, I don't know how we got on the subject. We got on the subject of uh, of, of minors, and somehow, and, and the and the Bible, and, and the Bible, right? So we sitting there, and uh, I said, "Oh, I think I, I think I somebody's mentioned something about underage kids." And I mentioned something about, I, I think I said, oh, you mean like Jesus and Mary, right? I mean, I mean I, yeah, yeah. So I said, oh, you mean like Jesus and Mary? Like I said, you know, like God and Mary, right? You know, God had sex with an underage gal, <laughs> you know, without her consent. And, you know, the guy, he, you know, he was really, he's kind of really laid back. But, you know, like I said, he's, you know, you know how most black people are, you know, we kind of religious, you know, when we grow up. And so I wanted to see where his honey spot was. And I, I think I found it. His honey spot is religion, right? You know, and he, you know, he's a, he, 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 he kind of got a little bolsterous. And I said, Ooh, he want the religion, black folk, huh? I said, okay. So he said, uh, he said, no, 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 you got it wrong. I said, I said, wait a minute. I said, hold on. Now you tell me that God, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I, I said, you tell me that God, God, if, if Jesus is God's son, and I think the Bible said that, oh, oh I know, I, I know, I know just what it said. I know, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that part, okay. Now I'm just kind of paraphrasing, but I'm gonna get to the real, real part. But I say, I say, you tell me now. The Bible say now. I don't know, man. I didn't know what I read. Now again, like I say, I didn't write the Bible. Y'all put that Bible out there, right? I'm just not listening to what T.D. Jakes them said. And I'm not listening to Kurt O'Donnell what they said. And I'm sure not listening to the music that Kurt Franklin sang it, okay? I'm looking at about what I read, and I got to look common sense, okay? And I question things on my common sense on what I see, not by what some expert tell me, because that's why these experts are riding around in their Maybox and their houses that, 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 that the people that sit in the pews are paying for, okay? So I'm saying, okay, so... So God had sex with an underage girl. Wasn't, wasn't Mary like 12 years old? He said, no, no, Mary was 13 or 14. I say, okay, Mary was 13 or 14, and God didn't have sex with Mary. You have to understand, and, ooh, and everybody in the group, the guys that was there, we they kind of puckered up and looked over there, said, oh, because they know me, right? <laughs> they know me, right? So I was like, oh, okay, I got a spot. He said, no, 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 she wasn't 12 years old. She was 13 or 14. I said, oh, I said, so God had sex with a a 13, 14 year old gal, huh? No, 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 no. You don't understand. And it wasn't God. Let me explain it to me. Let me explain it to you. I said, okay. Now, shut up. Because now I study biblical history. Now, I'll trap you with some dumb, with some dumb stuff now. Just, <laughs> I study biblical history and I studied a bunch of religion, right? That's why I am where, where I am, right? I'm not where I'm at in my thinking because. You know, I don't know anything, you know. <laughs> now, I can trick your buddy and preach a good sermon, become a preacher and make a lot of money and trick a whole lot of people, okay? But he say, he say, no, no, let me explain to you. And it wasn't God that entered Mary. It was the Holy Spirit. I say, the Holy Spirit, huh? Let's see. I think God said the Holy Spirit, Jesus and God, the Trinity, ain't, ain't they one? <laughs> They what? No, no, it ain't like that. They separate. Well, how can they be separate when the Bible say, especially in uh in in, in John, that that she that all three are one. In the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And it talks about the three. Let us make men. And, uh, you know, they, they supposed to be all together. They like they like homeboys, right? They, they they like they like ride together, don't they? You know. So you telling me now that all three of them 
ran a train in a 12-year-old girl. No, 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 no. No, he, boy, he was kind of getting upset, but I, when I saw him get a little upset, I kind of dodged it back a little bit, and I shut up to try to let him talk, you know, because I don't want him, you know. I don't, you know, I don't want no bull jiving, you know. So he said, no, no, no. He said, no, it wasn't like that. He said, it was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it wasn't God. And the Holy Spirit didn't physically enter her. I say, oh, the of, okay, no. He say, what we're talking about, we're talking about spirit here. We're talking about spirit. We're not talking about nothing physical. The, the spirit, the Holy Spirit enter her. I say, the Holy Spirit enter her. I say, nah, okay. The Holy Spirit to her, did he have consent? Yes. Yes, because God says he would enter us if we accept him. I say, oh, okay. I say, so a 12-year-old gal can have consent, right? At, it was a different time at that time. It's, now, I'm, I'm going to tell you where I'm going with, going with this in a minute, like I told him. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I said, 12 year old gal can have consent, right? Well, it was a different time back then. Yes, and it wasn't physical. He didn't physically enter her. I said, well, how did she get pregnant with a material baby then? Because a spirit isn't doesn't have, it, is, it doesn't have any matter, right? It is is it, you know it is like well, air has some molecules, but I mean it's it's a spirit. It's it's like a thought, right? And but that thought made a physical baby because what came out of Mary was Jesus, right? No, 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 it's no. And he kind of paused for a little bit. I say, yeah, I say, if you, if you telling me that uh, a spirit enters a little 12 year old girl and makes a physical baby, then he may not have opened her up down there. But he physically, he entered her and put something inside her body that, how can a 12-year-old consent? No, 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 no. It was a different type of day. No, no, the Holy Spirit in her, as first God said, if you accept me, and then he said, and, 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 and he said, Joseph, and oh yeah, and, and, then, and, and, then, and then I said, you know me with my stupid self, I say, and then God turned around and tricked Joseph. He comes to Joseph and tells Joseph that the little gal pregnant and that the baby, baby, he didn't, he didn't even tell, he didn't tell Joseph the baby is his. He just told the baby, the Joseph, the little gal is pregnant and you going you to take care of her. You a simp. You going to take her to her. So now God, the spirit of God enters a 12 year old girl after the 12 year old girl consents and then Joseph gets to pay child support. And I tell you just how we came to the subject of, of uh, talking about God. Oh, we, 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 we were talking about something about Jesus and Jesus being 12 years old walking. I made a joke about Jesus going to the temple at 12 years old. Oh, uh, getting caught talking. Oh, this is what we were talking about. We were talking about Catholic priests, huh? How Catholics priests be, uh, you know, be, you know, be dealing with little boys, right? Ain't no allegedly to it, you know. I'm clueless, okay. Now, and my buddy, he was, you know, he was one of altar bars, 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 right? And we was talking about, and some came up, and I said some stupid about, I say, yeah, like Jesus, like Mary losing Jesus, right? And then <laughs> I say, yeah, and then and then the guy, you know me, I my little Bible come out, I say, yeah, when Mary lost Jesus, he ran about twelve or some years old, and and she found him inside the teacher, in, in, inside the temple, talking to the Pharisees and whoever at twelve years old. <laughs> and, and, and I see Mary went in there and say, hey, Jesus, where you at? And she said, oh, my God, he up there with the priests. You know, and I was saying some of the fact that, you know, Jesus was 12 years old and he was in the, in the synagogue or whatever with those priests, you know, and you know, he knew what them priests be doing, right? So that's how we got on the of Mary, okay? So we come back to Mary, right? So I say, okay, all right, all right. So, okay, so the little 12-year-old girl, she consented. She consented to this Holy Spirit entering her. And then God tricks Joseph, tell Joseph that he got to take care of baby that he knocked up a 12 year old gal for because Joseph had a wife and had other kids. So now Joseph is taking care of a 12 year old gal who he never physically touched. Interesting, ain't it? Oh, no, 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 no. You know, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. The spirit, the spirit of God entered Mary and she accepted it. 
Because God say, if you accept it, you know, and the preacher tell y'all every Sunday, y'all, y'all sit up there in them pews, they tell y'all, if you accept at the end of the service, if you accept the Lord and Savior at your Savior, right? After you know, after you put this money in here, you come up here and we're going to pray for you. We're going to lay hands on you and we're going to get your address and we're going to get your cash app a check. <laughs> Your cash app account. <laughs> we gonna get your 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 Zillow. We gonna get your 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 Vino, Voodoo, whatever it is account, and you gonna be a part of membership of God's house. I ain't never got you know God got more houses than D.I. God got more houses than D.I. Sanders. <laughs> God got houses everywhere. God got houses right next to each other. <laughs> You know, church here, church here. I don't, care, I don't worry about it. God got plenty of houses. God like Dion. He can go anywhere and live. <laughs> so I said, okay. I said, okay. I said, that make a lot of sense, don't it? A 12-year-old gal consent to a spirit entering her, making a physical baby, and then another man who she don't know. She didn't know Joseph. Another man who she don't know comes alone and tells her that God tells me I got to take care of the baby that's inside you, that he's going to be a great man. So here there's a 12 year old gal right now. She wake up in the morning and her belly is full, but not with food. And then some fella come to her though saying that the God telling me I got to take care of you. And she she got to go along with the program because this spirit came to them and told them that they had to do this. And then they dilly on off with Joseph kids and then her little kid, Jesus. And that's how Jesus wanders off everywhere, talking to grown people inside temples. Now, I tell you, kids shouldn't be in temples by themselves talking to pre, pre, uh, uh, preachers or whatever by themselves. Y'all know that, right? So Jesus, he's just doing his own thing. And then Jesus tell Mary, you know, tell Mary and Joseph that when they come looking for him, that, hey, Jesus, get your butt up here, boy. We got to go. There's a little donkey. We got, we got, we got, we, you know, we got a donkey that we ridden out here. You know, this doggone donkey, you know, this, we got an Uber donkey out here that we ridden. We on the clock. We got to go. And Jesus said, who is my mother and my father? Now, nah, the little Jesus, the, the, the little bastard, he rebellious. Jesus rebellious. Now, they didn't, they didn't. Mary went through all this trouble as a little gal, not knowing what she did, then got the R word done to her by some spirit. Now, this is what y'all said in the Bible now. The R word done to her by some spirit. Joseph, they got tricked in the child support for a spirit, right? And now this little kid, he had to talk to me. He telling he tell them that they ain't even his parents. What y'all looking for me for? I come and do the work of my father. And Joe's standing there saying, I'm your father, boy. And Jesus said, no, no, no. God is my father up in heaven. Joe's saying, well, who ridden, who ridden this Uber donkey out front that's waiting on us that we got to get out of here and get to Nazareth, boy? Is God ridden that, 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 that Uber donkey out there for us? <laughs> And Joseph like, Jesus like, hey, look, dog, look, dog, I got work to do here, okay? If you and Mary and them other, them, my stepbrothers, y'all want to get, and matter of fact, they ain't even my stepbrother because you did not conceive me. My God up in heaven did. Joseph like, man, Joseph confused. Now here Joseph, and now I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I'm backtracking. Now I'm trying to figure out who do I feel sorry more for? Do I feel sorry more for Mary or do I guess, do I feel sorry more for Joseph who got tricked and to take care? It's the same story like Abraham in the Bible, how Abraham got rich. You know, Abraham, the father of everything, how he made his money. He pimped his wife out. Now that's just what I read in the Bible now. You know, and, and T.G. Jakes would agree with me because I heard T.G. Jakes say one time, Jesus is the product. Jesus is the product. When I heard that. I was like, oh, this dude is pimping. <laughs> I love T.G. Jakes, boy. Yeah. I call him hoghead. <laughs> yeah. Give me, I'll give you some life advice. <laughs> now, now, now his daughter stepping y'all. Uh, let me leave people. Oh, no, let me stop. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get charged with bullying again. Dang it. I'm sorry, T.D. Jakes. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, Creflo Dollar. I'm sorry, Kurt Franklin. Hey, Kurt, still going to those meetings? <laughs> <laughs> but, but back to Jesus and Mary. So we going back and forth. Right? Where we know we're, at this point, we're not going back and forth because I see his wheels where I can read his eyes. I see his, 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 his wheels move. He's thinking about this. 
wow, how can I, how can I, how can I explain this biblically, you know, that a 12 year old girl accepted a spirit and how did a spirit make a physical, physical baby, but it's God. And see, when it comes to religion, people can do acrobats inside their mind, just like people can do acrobats inside their mind when you're talking about Coach Prime, right? You know, it ain't no eye test, is what we are told to believe, right? He sit up here trying to justify the stupidness. Oh, and then this, no, Joseph, Joseph didn't never had touch bear. He, but he was told by God. And when God tell you something, you got to do it. You know, like coach prime, when God tell me, Hey, coach prime, time you to get up out of here. Stuff getting kind of hot. <laughs> got a place over here for you. You see, you see how the God in that Bible work with these people. You read the Bible, huh? how these people manipulate other people to get where they're going. Are you reading what I'm saying? How they manipulate other people to get where they're going? It ain't no goodness in this. It's manipulation for our personal benefit. Abraham tricked the Pharaoh, uh, 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 Almanac, or or Almanac, whatever his name is, the other other parents, into getting all his jewelry by pimping his wife out. Samson was a trick. He did the same thing. Daniel did the same thing. You go all the way back to the beginning, a 12-year-old girl, you know, without her consent, get ran up in to per se by the Holy Spirit, you know, one of God's whole homeboys. And then Abraham, then, then Joseph get tricked into taking care of this baby. Now, this is, why, this, this is why the story hit home to me when he was talking about this, when we were talking about this. I say, let me give you a story. I say, and this is a true story. I say, and my ex-wife, if she was sitting here, she could vouch for this story. Somebody deep in my family, long, long, long time ago, way before I was born, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this lady. She told me this story when she was 12 years old. She said she played with this fella, two little daughters. One day, the fella takes his two little daughters and his wife fishing. The fella comes home from fishing, but his wife and his two daughters don't. Then the fella goes to this lady's daddy and takes a little girl. I don't know what they bought her, but takes a little gal and takes the little gal to uh, the, 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 uh, the graveyard at that time kept all the records back long, long time ago. The records of the death was kept, record, the records of people was kept by the funeral home, say. I don't know if they call it a funeral home, but the grave, the, this guy was a grave that I dig. I know this personal. Now, this is a personal story, okay? That's true. So he goes to the little gal father and they do some kind of bartering because he was an older guy, okay? And his, he was an older guy. So I don't know what he gave to him or what monetary or whatever he gave to him, but he gave it and he took the little gal. So at 12 years old, she is with a grown, grown, grown man who kids she used to play with. Now she find herself having babies. So I was like, well, what were you thinking back then? She said, I don't know. She said, I just wore a bike. She said, I just thought I was going to get a bike. She said, I played with his kids. I knew them. I used to be at the house. So this little guy, 12 years old, is at his house playing with his, his two little gals. And he looking at this little gal, sizing her up. So the guy, you know, you know, you know what the guy tell me? He said, well, it was different. It was a different time. I said, like Jesus time, right? It was a different time, right? You could mess with 12 years old kids and it was okay, right? Yeah. I say, so the lady that I'm talking about is my grandma. This is how I'm here. Because my granddaddy, and ain't no allegedly to it, killed his wife and two daughters and then took my little grandmama when she said she just wore a bike. And this story's on videotape because my grandma, before my grandma died, I videoed because I wanted to video archive of her. And my ex-wife was sitting right there. She said, I just wore a bike. 
So I said, so now you can tell me that a 12 year old girl has a knowledge to consent for a spirit or anything to enter her body, deform her body and make her take care of something that she don't even have no clue of. And he just said that. And then I say, you know what, man? I, you know me, I'm great. I was like, man, you know me, man. I say, man, because it was getting kind of serious. I see those fans, I can see his wheels rolling. Everybody was sitting around looking. I say, man, you know, I say, man, look, man, don't worry about it, man. I say, come on, man, come on, man. Let's go play pool, man. I say, we can agree to disagree, man. Now, you think about that, the mental gymnastics that it, that it take. And it says that we're supposed to be more moral today. You know, I guess we are more moral today with the laws that per se we don't like than they were back in double times. I guess we are more moral than per se God, right? Why was it acceptable back then? But then he gets a makeup in the New Testament. <laughs> God gets a makeup. You know, I mean, God turns from evil God to RuPaul God, God in the New Testament. How did that happen? I thought he's never changing. I think he's never wavering. As Dion said, said, oh God, did you hear that sound bite? Oh, I said something clever. Did you hear that? Oh, God, I'm going to have to put that in my thing. <laughs> yeah, Mark Jackson, oh, I read a quote from D.I. Sign this morning. Mark Jackson, I read, oh, yeah, I'm going to throw a quote. <laughs> oh, did you hear that song back? <laughs> that was clever. That was clever. <laughs> but what you know, what's, you know what is clever, though? What's clever is the mental gymnastics that people do inside their head. To, to justify not trying to understand, comprehend, or really, really believe what they see. A long time ago, it was something that used to say, you're going to believe me. I used to say, you're going to believe me or your lying eyes. And that's what it's like when people come to influence of whether it's pastors, whether it's politicians, whether it's anything that people want to believe in that makes them feel good. They don't want to believe their eyes. They want to believe whatever this entity is saying or the person is saying. You going to believe me or you going to believe your lying eyes? Now, you, you lie, your eyes only lie to you because you don't use critical thinking or know how to use critical thinking or you, you know what? Forget the word critical thinking. You don't know how to question anything. And when you question and somebody, <clears throat> the whole reason why you have what, what they call uh, apologists, what they call Christian apologists. Christian apologists is people that, that are supposed to, uh, the question that the, men and young, the conversation that the men and young man had, Christian apologists, are the ones that's supposed to make it sound better, they're supposed to clean it up. They're supposed to have 50 million reasons why what God did was okay. Why God pretty much our work, the, you know, a 12 year old girl. Now, back at that time, you know, it wasn't no 25 year old girls around. It wasn't no 18 year old gals around. Why well, it had to be a 12 year old gal? Because back then, you had 18-year-old versions back then. You know, they wouldn't like the date. The date, <laughs> you know, probably the day you don't even have 13-year-old versions of the day. But back then, you did because women, people, women, daughters had to be as pure as possible because daughters at that time was used by the family to come up, you know, like Sarah. He was used as, as a come up. So he couldn't find an 18-year-old gal. He had to mess around 12 year old guy. I'm just saying, just, just my thought. But people would justify that inside their head because that's what they want to believe. Because this person I like told me the story. I mean, how can you sit in church and hear that story and it's okay? It's God. You make it for people. We make acceptance for people that we like. We don't question. I question everything. I question everything. I, I question everything that I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm going to question it, right? Now, I act stupid like, okay, well, you right, but no, 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 no. Then I'm going to do my own little research. Then I'm going to come back. And I probably don't come back. I'm just like, ah, okay, all right. That's dumb. Now I understand that person. See, the thing about it is that we would not follow people if we question them. We don't have to have critical thinking. You only have to have critical thinking once you start questioning 
once you start questioning, now you get into me like on the front, my front gate out there. Now I'm on the focus smoking a cigar and I'm figuring, because usually it take me time. I'm not a quick thinker. You can come at me about something right now and it'll break out a box. Or it'll stagger me. I don't have quick comebacks, but you give me some time to think. Like at work when I have a problem. I have a problem. I mean, I can't figure it out right now, but let me go home and smoke a cigar and sleep on overnight. Oh, I got you, Don. Or you got me. Because now I'm going through all the angles in my mind, in my sleep and everything. But if we would question things first, and if it don't make sense to us, then we get into the critical thinking. Then we get into the, 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 the to try to understand it more. We just don't go along like that fella Kwame Brown say, to go along the get along game. We don't do that. We question it. We only have one mind. We only hear one time. So why are we following behind somebody? We already got to follow the government. And I love the government. Like I tell you, I love the government. Y'all say rules are wrong. The monetary system is wrong. Let's go with Bitcoin or whatever. You fool. I'm going to know decentralized currency. You gotta have some type of set. You have some type. You have to have some type of system of, of, of a medium of exchange. Everything economy economies are too big now to travel around with gold and silver and writing stuff on a piece of paper and putting it on a, a pigeon leg and flying it over, <laughs> over next door. This is something that we live with. We we adapt. We adapt to something that we that we live within. And there's always worse if you don't like the system that you live in. There's always a worse system you can go to. The one thing about America, there's open borders, whether you're coming or you're going. <laughs> but you don't question anything. You know, and when you have this conversation like I had, what I had in my mind, I'm thinking I have to be measured in what I'm saying because I have to be measured in what I'm hearing. And I have to let that person talk in order to understand their point of view and their perspective. So now I have a baseline of the, of the fella now. I have a baseline of him now. I know where I can go with him and where I can't go with him. So we're going to get along perfect. We're going to get along perfect. But that's how people do mental gymnastics, to believe our lying eyes. Because what we're seeing isn't true. Like right now, I mean, you know, I'm going to leave Coach Prime alone. I like Coach Prime. Oh, did you get that sound bite? Oh, boy, did you see? I said something clever. Y'all see that? Yeah, I said something. Oh, God gave me something clever. I came to work at, at 3 o'clock this morning, and I was in my hot sauna, and I was waiting on the word from God. Dion, I want you to go down there. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say I want you to beg the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. I ain't going to do that, but no. But, hey. I'm just saying, you know, I did, you know, just, hey, question things. You don't understand things, question it. It's okay to question things. It's okay to question and have your opinion. You know, people don't like it, they don't like it. They're going to call you a hater. <laughs> you know, hater is a new word for opinion. But uh, I was fascinated at the cigar spot yesterday. I'll tell you, that guy's something else, but I don't want to have one of them dreams. I don't want God to cut the cut to me when I sleep and say, hey, oh, weird. There's a fellow that's gonna be coming to your door, right? And um, it's just gonna be a spirit. So leave your window open. So when you laying in bed at night, he gonna enter you. <laughs> oh no, God no! I'll be waking up. Am I in prison? No. <laughs> I be waking up all so oh, I don't know what happened to me last night. I be checking my windows. Oh, is my did somebody oh god, why am I sore? Man, did somebody open the window? Oh god, oh, why is my mouth all twisted? <laughs> why my booty all warm? What happened last night? Oh god, I be checking my little motion sensors around here. I didn't hear my motion sensor go off last night. Oh, why am I sore? What happened to me last night? Can you imagine that? Now nah, you can't imagine that, can you? Ain't that stupid what I just said? Ain't that stupid what I just said? I'm a grown man. <laughs> I was on the downside of the close, closer to the devil than I am with life. Can you imagine that? I'm laying, you can you imagine that? I'm laying in the morning and then and then everything. So 
just like I've been in jail with Suge Knight. <laughs> just like I've been in jail with Suge Knight all night. I was in, and I'm looking, jumping around my house. Why wow, I feel like that down there? Why my mouth all twisted? What, what happened to me last night? I'm checking my windows to see if the locks on the windows. I'm trying to run around here and say, man, what's going on, man? This, man. And then God comes to me and say, hey, don't worry about it. That was just Suge Knight came to you. That was the spirit of Suge Knight. He came to you. He been locked up for a while, a little frustrated, but we let his spirit out. And, you know, you we thought you was a good candidate. Don't worry about it. You ain't have to volunteer and accept it because we know your heart. <laughs> well, if you know my heart, you know it was too hard for me down there. <laughs> Don't that sound stupid? Same thing. Same thing with a 12-year-old gal, right? Sounds stupid, but we don't question it. We say, okay. So I suppose say, okay. And then, you know, then I I go, I go to I go to the doctor. I mean, I go to the store, you know, I get some toilet paper, you know, I try to stop the leaking. I don't know why I'm leaking, you know, it's because it was spiritual, but I'm leaking. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> I right, look, I'm gonna get out of here on that one. Hey, look, uh, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. All right. Go Michigan. Go Detroit Lions today. Take care. We're going to take care of Green Bay Packers today. And then Saturday, the Wolverines going to take care of Ohio State snitching Buckeyes because I've heard a rumor, you know, allegedly, I'm clueless, that Ryan Day, coach Ohio State, him and his brother snitched on Michigan. Ah. So we got something for them. I already sent the email in. I said, you know, we need to just run the ball down Ohio State throat. Don't even pass the ball. If Michigan get the ball first, just run it down. They dog. I don't care if the score is six nothing or three nothing at the end of the day. Every play, run it down. They throw punch him in their dog. I'm all like we did Penn State. That'll show them that little Ryan Day. Boy, I tell you, I knew. I thought it was Maryland. I mean, I thought it was Penn State that stitched on it, but nah. Like I said, I think it's hey, Ohio State's probably snitched on us. Man, I say, man, God can't, you can't, you can't take it, you can't even get an advantage anymore. You can't spy no more. I mean, look at Watergate. Even Nixon's, <laughs> even Nixon's, even Nixon spied doing Watergate. Nixon ain't have to spy. He would have won. Michigan ain't got a spy. Everybody tried to get a leg up. Why do you think that we have drones in the sky? Why do you think we have spy satellites? Why do you think we have... Because everybody is trying to... Why is spying so wrong? <laughs> why is spying so wrong? Everybody's spying. Everybody got drones. Everybody tapping into people's phones. Everybody's spying. But yet, Michigan gets punished for it. Come on, man. Everybody's spying. Go blue. <laughs>